Yeah, buddy. Look at all that water. Yep. Well, I mean, there could be worse ruts. The beans are... Well, you can at least define the rows. So that's good. They're kind of kind of standing like a bit of an old man but not totally laying down so that's a that's a fantastic sight I guess uh, we have left home we're on the road you just saw us come over here um, the way we or the roads we were just on we saw when I pulled all those round bales home and had to downshift terribly yes I know that's one road over we're only maybe a mile from home as the crow flies but it's three miles of road to get here indirectly it's keeping a constant pace. Let's we'll see if we try to adjust the variable speed because the variable speed is kind of manually sped up. It'll slow down normally. Yesterday we had a bit of a snafu with the steering. There was a roll pin at the bottom of the steering column and it broke. But there was a couple bolts missing as part of a pivot point for the whole column because you can move the column closer to your lap in addition to folding down the steering wheel. Well, the pivot point at the bottom of the column for pulling the whole thing to the driver, there was nothing to pivot on. It was loose, and I think that added weight on that roll pin took it out. The roll pin's not a super tight fit in the outer set of holes that are on the top of the steering motor. Okay, yeah, I probably didn't get here as fast as Dad wanted. I had to finish up lunch and deal with washing eggs and things. So that was a little slow. Coming for the big dump. I don't see beans over the top, but I know he wants to lighten the load a little bit. Swing, swing, swing. So we got all the beans done at home. We only had 13 acres of beans, roughly. Some of those were planted uh, June 20th, and the last of them were planted like July 12th, just a little acre behind the house. A little bit of a forgotten area, which is one of those things, I don't know, I guess the size and the location, it's just the last one to get planted since it's so small. It's where we actually saw the last bit of silage being chopped. He's going to have to run the engine a little slow. He's kind of jumping in this back corner. I guess we're not shooting him over too bad. Another update, climb up the back here, listen to the engine, kind of still hear that knock. Uh, it's been using oil, we figure that we have cracked rings on cylinder number two, so I'm glad it's not a loose wrist pin, but at least we have identified where and what, but we're running good, sounds a bit like a power stroke, you know, a little knocky, take a look in the grain tank. It's empty now, that's good. He did have a pretty good pile. I figure once you get above the windows of the cab, it's an okay load. If we get it heaped, it's 180 bushel. It's about how much that gravity wagon holds. So it's kind of weird to think that this, uh, the bin on the combine holds as much as the gravity wagon. I'll grab some beans. They look good. That one's not super pretty right there by my thumb. But they're not hateful. You don't see these, you know, Real nasty looking gray and brown beans. That's, that's, that's definitely going to be a wet one. Look how long that is. Kind of swollen. That'll be wet. It's on another one to try biting. How about that bean? Let's eat that bean. See what it, see uh, see how dry it is. It had a little bit of pop. These might be slightly drier than the one I tried at home. Yeah. Need to be roasted. They don't taste that good yet. Little beanie. Oh, I can kind of see out over the field where there's no beans. That's I've been a little damp, and I kind of figured that if the beans did anything there, we'd be lucky. This year, you kind of just expect your losses with the rain. We're also, uh, we're also chasing or being chased by the rain today. 
it's taking forever to get here. Kind of like in the spring, at least we don't see thunderstorms in the distance, but there's been kind of ugly clouds off to the south and west there. Had a little bit of sunshine this morning, but right now we're just, we're just going for it. We're gonna go until we can, keep an eye on our phones, watch the radar. And once the rain looks like it's uh, maybe 10 miles away or so, head for home as fast as we can, get it all in the barn. Woo, we're making it happen. Yeah, cut a little run, I guess. Everything's moving along. Not dragging the back too bad. But we're falling through. I love those rice tires. Mm-mm-mm. Now the rain, we're gonna look at the sky, uh, is probably 12 miles to the south. You can't see much of the trees. Out to the west it looks good, but over there to the south, it's getting a little cloudy. I just had my phone out looking on radar. It's not heavy, but it's enough. It's not like we're doing corn. Sometimes with corn, I'd say we've chanced it a little bit more but corn won't take on the moisture quite as bad as beans will. I mean, we're not out here when it's sunny. Um, well, shoot, there's already water in that puddle. So let's just enjoy the combine for this last pass, and then we get to race home. For one more loop, go down and back. I'll probably call that a day. Perfect motion. You get those real tight turns when the dirt's real loose. Just swing everything around, hit the brake. Funny note about the brakes. Brakes on this combine. Um, all right, we'll say we're interchangeable or came from one ton trucks of the period, so late 70s, one ton Fords. This is why we plant the 18-inch rows of the tire track. 
I'm walking in a tire track right now. We can see the wide gap. Let's top off this load before we race home, I guess. Of course, it could be one of them dumb things where we get home and it doesn't rain, but better to be safe in the barn. A little bit of space here in this front corner. Yay beans. They're dusty, right? That's good. A pot here and there, but most of them, that's got a funky little bean in it. Now the pods always look worse than I think they are. Just because they float to the top, they're lightweight. So being less dense, they'll float, plus they're a little bigger. Which seems weird, so you can put a marble in a jar of sand, put it at the bottom, Put sand on top and then gently shake the jar back and forth and the marble will roll to the top. 